Well, here's a quick video about some unsuccessful experiments. I wanted to measure how effective uh, these dust mask filters are, so I took the filter off and I made this gadget. Uh, inside is my Dillo's air quality monitor, and I can't just uh, pull air through that directly because the flow rate really matters. And so I've got a fan on the back that blows air out here, and I suck it in through this yogurt container, and I can hold the filter on there, and then the meter inside will measure how much dust I've actually got. But this has been a bit of a frustrating sort of thing. My first experiments, I found the filters only took out about half the particles. And that seemed a bit uh, worse than I thought it should be. And then it turns out I had not a perfect seal on here, so I glued this cup on here. But then I also put some saran wrap around here to try to seal it, and some saran wrap stuck on the front and then another layer all around it to try to cut down on the leakage because it does appear that a lot of air was sucked aside from the filter not just through here but just leaking in and of course that would throw off my readings if say 30% of the air goes outside the filter then the filter can only ever be appear to be 70% effective even if it's 100% effective I had also checked how much pressure I was getting from the fan and at most maybe 15 millimeters or so um, because maybe I figured maybe I was just overblowing the filters but uh, that wasn't the case either um, here's another experiment this is a shop towel wrapped around two yogurt cups and that fits on here that in my tests performed about as well as these filters but of course it's much bigger um, the tests I found the filters up to about 97% uh, effective with this thing, that is my particle counts with the filter on here dropped as much as 97% but even that is suspicious I found these small filters seem to do the worst, they're from north um, but then I figured well what if I just take two of these filters and I tape them together like that and then held them on here figuring that should give me a lower particle count but uh, that didn't actually result in a lower particle count so I think what's happening is with both of these I've got even more air resistance and so then whatever leakage I still have in this box becomes more dominant so uh, you'd think the filter would get better but it didn't um, so that suggests that uh, even with this with all the saran wrap and whatnot my readings are still very much affected by leakage so after reams and reams of numbers and readings and whatnot, I can't really come to any sort of conclusive result. Um, these things, they're rated P100, they're supposed to be like 99 point something percent effective. Uh, they're probably not quite that effective, but uh, I'm getting much less than that, and I suspect it has much to do with an imperfect apparatus. The one lesson from this, though, is it's really hard to get a good seal, even though I've got this all squished together and whatnot. And uh, this dust mask question is how good a seal does that make against your face because that may not be perfect either because what doesn't seem like a lot of leakage can make a big difference. I've been running the whole tests by getting lots of ambient dust into the air by sanding something with the strip sander just with a board on here and having the oscillating fan going just to spread the uh, dust evenly throughout the shop. So that would give me a good level of dust to read through on here, um, but again, it's it just didn't work. So there you have it. Not all of my experiments work out. Usually I can tell relatively early on that it's not going to work out and I give up before I spend too much time on it. But with this one, well, I just waste a lot of time.